Hi, everybody. It's that time again, time for story time with Nona. I hope you're ready for another wonderful story. I've got a really uh, funny, it's kind of a funny story, but it's also a story if you have brothers and sisters, and maybe you have a little brother or sister that sometimes gets annoying, let's be honest. Um, this is a story about a little frog that has some younger siblings that she doesn't really appreciate, but in the end, she finds out that family is first. So let's get started. Our book today is called Little Frog and the Spring Pollywogs. Little Frog and the Spring Pollywogs. Story by Jane Yolen, illustrated by Ellen Shee. Little Frog looked down into the clear spring pond. It was green. She liked green. But now, dozens of little long-tailed dark dots darted through the water, muddying the green. Brothers, sisters, cousins, Mama Frog called them. Trouble, thought Little Frog. Little Frog liked being an only. She liked finding the best lily pad where she could sit and soak up the sun, not having to share it with some silly polywogs. She loved having Mama Frog and Papa Frog all to herself except maybe when they scolded. She loved getting the first and biggest slice of Mama Frog's shoe fly pie and seconds. And if she really wanted it, thirds. And I bet there are flies in that. She preferred the pond clear of pollywogs and all, all hers. Well, except for Papa Frog and Mama Frog and Uncle Frog and Aunt Frog, and this little slippery silver fish that flashed along the water lanes and the toads. The toads were close enough cousins for Little Frog. But now, here were all these pollywogs. Tadpoles, Papa Frog said she must call them. They were always stirring up the pond's bottom, bumping into things, crying out for attention, getting in the way. Where will all these pollywogs live when they are grown? asked Little Frog. It's not that it's like a great big pond. Tadpoles, Papa Frog reminded, and alas, most of them will not become frogs. Mama Frog put her arms around Little Frog. You are our only. She suddenly sounded sort of sad. Days went by. The tadpoles became only a handful of creatures with small legs and smaller arms. Still too many, Little Frog grumbled as she navigated around them. They reached out to grab her with their new arms. 
entangled her in their new legs. No, said Little Frog, bad tads. By the time it was fully spring, there were only three tadpoles left. Little Frog thought them ugly and annoying, but Mama Frog held them in her arms. She sang them frog lullabies, called them Dumpling and Greenling. She used to call Little Frog that. Little Frog sat all alone on a lily pad and felt terribly, horribly sorry for herself. Now, all the grown-ups went underwater getting ready for a big block party. There would be greens and shoe fly, fly pie and a gallon of bug juice. So no one saw the big red boots and the long skinny poles and the stringy nets. No one but Little Frog pouting on a, the pad. Suddenly, she remembered Uncle Frog's warning. Boys with nets and off you gets. She leapt into the water, surprising the pollies. But instead of swimming down to the pond's bottom, as any thoughtful frog would do, those silly creatures headed directly to where the red boots waited with their nets. Serves them right, thought Little Frog, but then she remembered Mama Frog's sad face. She remembered that once she'd been a tadpole swimming with other dark dotting dots. For the first time, she wondered what had happened to all of them. Ooh. Waving her arms like flags until she got their attention, she boomed out, No! Danger! Little Frog's voice was so big, her arms so frantic, the tadpoles turned together and headed to the pond's bottom. There, Mama Frog gathered them up and crooned a no-danger song. You saved the tads, Papa said to Little Frog, smiling. Someday they will save you. Little Frog thought about that. It sounded, well, nice. As long as they don't take more than their share of the shoe fly pie, Little Frog said. Then she added, or get in my way. Uncle Frog, Frog boomed a laugh. I'm afraid you can count on them always taking more pie and getting in the way. How do you know? asked Little Frog. Uncle Frog pointed to Papa Frog. Because your Papa is my little brother. And that's just what little brothers do. I like that. That was a good story. I hope you remember to be kind and generous with your younger siblings. And younger siblings, I hope that you appreciate your big brothers and sisters. I hope you all have a wonderful day. I enjoyed reading that story to you, and I hope you'll join me next time on Storytime with Nona. Bye!
Thank you.